almost forgot last quick tip on buying trench coats what i love about both coats that i've showed you so far is that they are fully lined when you're buying a trench coat make sure you look for fully lined coats that means there's lining in the coat because some trench coats um depending on the manufacturer sometimes they skip this process hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so today i decided to record an autumn fashion favorites for you guys yes autumn is in full swing and i wanted to share a video on what i've been enjoying in the previous month or since autumn started so my first favorite is this new long chomp bag which i recently bought um for my trip to dubai i really love this bag i've obviously known for long chomp um for quite some time but i'm not really into large totes i'm not really into big bags i have one a uh, large black leather tote bag from Arquette but I felt like it kept sliding off my shoulders just because of the, the design so I was looking for something which I could carry my laptop in carry a lot of stuff um that I could travel with that could um withstand rain um so I decided to invest in the classic um Longchamp Le Pliage bag obviously this is quite a popular bag um the colorway as well is very popular i see it everywhere in london which is where i am i know why it's so popular it's a really um sturdy and even though it's a luxury brand um it doesn't have the the luxury price tag um i think you can get long -term bags for hundreds um even less than that i think this did this depended on the size this is the large so this is in a classic um the classic colorway initially um i went into the store before i actually bought this i actually bought this bag on farfetch and i think it's uh this is in the large side so i think i paid around a, it was 100 pounds but i had a farfetch code but i ended up paying around 88 pounds for it initially when i went into the long trip store I actually wanted the Le Pliage City in beige um, but I tried it on with a few of my outfits if you guys have been following this channel you know that I don't really wear a lot of color most of my wardrobe is quite neutral and even though the beige was obviously a neutral color I just felt like it didn't pop with my outfits that I really wanted the classic um I, I actually really wanted the classic colorway I even tried the black and i'm thinking of getting a second one actually i'm thinking of get getting the black Le, Le Pliage city black but because i knew i was going to dubai i was going to a hot country um i didn't want that coated canvas um material i just wanted like the nylon material so i decided to get this one and i'm very very happy with um this purchase i actually bought let me show you i actually bought an amazon um insert for this bag it's actually full and it looks like this this is the insert it has everything that i need on a day-to-day -day. my laptop obviously fits in here as well and i think because of the, the, the style of um the long chomp bags um it's it's you know let me get my take my umbrella out but because it's very wide and it's just a vast empty space i feel like you definitely need an insert because if you just start throwing things in there things will just get lost like my pass i wouldn't have been able to find my passport in time for security i wouldn't have been able to find my you know my my plane ticket all of that stuff so i just think it's really good even though there's two pockets it's actually there's one pocket on the back and there's one po small pocket in the front um even with the pockets i feel like yeah you definitely need to invest in an insert and the insert was is not expensive i bought this from amazon for around 13 pounds which is which is not too bad and there's i've seen so much i've seen like more expensive ones on etsy for like 35 40 pounds for an insert i'm like really um so if you guys want i will leave the link um for this insert um down below as well as the link for the bag okay awesome moving on so the next favorites or this thing that i bought recently is this beautiful um massimo trench coat i'll leave a link below but it's the oversized trench um i actually own 
quite a few trench coats now. I'm a trench coat lover. I own around, I want to say six trench coats now. I own uh, two short ones that are also for Massimo Duty. Uh, one of them is actually coming up. And then I own four, I think four long trench coats. Um, because they are worn in different seasons. So I have ones that are slightly thicker that can be worn obviously around this time of year, around autumn, winter. And then I have ones that are kind of lighter um, that are more for spring. I live in the UK, so I feel like trenches, trench coats are something that you can kind of wear all year round. Even in winter, if you get a really thick one, um, you can wear them. But I was looking for a very neutral beige coloured um, trench coat because some of my trench coats, they lean kind of green or lean kind of khaki. I was looking for something that reminded me of a classic Burberry trench but that was that was a little bit that had an oversized fit that didn't have that that regular you know that tight regular cut and so I came across this one on on Massimo Duty I went in store I tried it on um the size 8 fit me really nicely usually I'm like an 8 to 10 um but the size 8 was was um very fitting I paid around 199 pounds which I know is quite pricey for a trench coat but I feel like coats outerwear shoes you know bags they're they're really big investments and i feel like if you have to spend money in your wardrobe you should invest in those kind of pieces i went ahead i made a purchase and i'm very very happy with the quality so i was looking for something that had a cotton polyester blend the reason for that is because i didn't want something that was completely polyester because i think polyester polyester jackets they don't last long and they look really cheap um but you need an element of polyester because it means that you don't have to iron your trench coat as as much it it kind of it remains um non-wrinkly that makes sense if it has a little bit of polyester and i wanted cotton because i'm a big fan of you know natural materials but that polyester blend in there makes the coat slightly water resistant this coat is absolutely beautiful on and it makes anything underneath my coat look amazing i'll try and leave an insert of me um actually wearing this coat but i think massimo duty do very 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 good um outer pieces bags accessories jumpers they just do very good pieces because i think they invest more in terms of the quality of their of their clothes um because i think they're a zara group but they're slightly higher ticket they're slightly more expensive um um, and that is just because of the, the quality and, and the materials that they use. Speaking of quality of this coat, let me just show you. I love the extra detail um, that they use. So trench coats, you almost have to become an expert at fabric and cut when it comes to shopping. If you're someone who uh, you, you value quality or you even value luxury, um, some of the details like even the buttons, the hardware that they use, um, the fact that it has a back air vent, um, back air vent on the, on the bottom, uh, sometimes it's like, sometimes it's a back air vent here, um, also the buttons on the shoulders, things like that, the fact that the belt, uh, has holes for you to actually, like, hook, like, those are the details that I was looking for when it came to this coat. I didn't want something that looked cheap, like they, like the supplier or the manufacturer um, took some shortcuts. So I was looking for something that had, I was looking for something that almost looked luxury, but without that kind of 600, 700 pounds luxury price tag. So at 200 pounds, yes, it's premium high street, but I think that you get what you pay for in in this case right we are moving on to the next coat from massimo duty and it's this navy one short navy jacket that i bought i think back in september i actually bought this off the zalandu site so um, massimo duty they stock some of their items up there so if you can't find sizes on massimo duty sometimes they are also on zalandu that's just a quick tip from me um this jacket was around 89 pounds i was looking for a short trench just because i'm not always in the mood to wear a long trench coat you know sometimes i want something that is easy to throw on that looks quite casual and the only short trench that i could find was the arquette one this was back in august the arquette one which everybody has all over instagram and it's 
the, the problem with that coat is that it's linen and cotton and linen and cotton it can work well in the spring summer but it doesn't work quite well in the colder climate like like in um in like autumn winter season so i also wanted that again that water resistant material and i felt like polyester provided that which the arquette one didn't so this is a great alternative if you can't get your hands on the arquette one or, or you don't want the arquette one I highly recommend Massimo Duty for short trench coats. They also have a camel coloured one, which is in a short, short style. Again, I will try and put in a cutaway of me wearing this coat. I love how wide the sleeves are. Um, even the buttons, the hook, the hook detail. I don't know if you can see that hook detail here. Like, so it buttons right up to your neck. Um... I just really love this coat. I actually bought this in a small, but I feel like I could have gotten away with the extra small because it is quite oversized. Um, I can't remember if I told you tell, if I told you guys how much I paid. I think I paid around eighty nine pounds for this coat, um, which I think is a good price for you know a really quality short trench coat. Again, Massimo Duty is premium high street, but it's somewhere it's somewhere between premium high street. And luxury that's what i think this this massimo duty is i will leave a link down below to where you can find this trench coat if you're interested almost forgot last quick tip on buying trench coats what i love about both coats that i've showed you so far is that they are fully lined when you're buying a trench coat make sure you look for fully lined coats that means there's lining in the coats because some trench coats um depending on the manufacturer sometimes they skip this process and it's very annoying if you're somebody who wants to keep the integrity of the coat you want to keep your coat clean for as long as possible so you want to prevent uh, multiple washes of your of your outerwear try and look for coats and jackets that are lined if you're someone like me who gets very sweaty as well that lining will protect your sweat patches from showing through the coat so whenever i'm shopping trenches or whenever I'm shopping coats in general, I usually buy coats that are fully lined. There's some exceptions to that rule, um, but I will talk about that in a later video when it comes to buying sort of winter wool, wool coats. Because I know that I've seen a lot of wool coats lately, especially the very thin ones, that don't come with lining. So that is a, another tip to look out for um, when you're purchasing your outerwear. Right, moving on. Okay, moving on. We are on to bags now. So this... If you've been following my channel, it's the Coach Kira bag, which I raved about in uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I absolutely love this bag. I'm not going to go into much detail about this bag because I will leave a link to the in-depth review that I did of this. I talked about what fits inside. I talked about how much I paid for it, where I got it from, etc, etc. This bag is just so handy. It's so cute. It's so small. It's perfect for running errands you know quick stops to the shops type of outings um but i've also worn this into london you know shopping around and doing things so i yeah really 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 highly recommend getting i highly recommend getting a small if you don't really have one a small crossbody bag i used to be very anti crossbody i know crossbody bag but now with this bag i'm looking at um a larger medium sized uh crossbody in the same black um with gold hardware i'm looking at celine or a celine imitant imitation um yeah or a celine imitation uh or something of the sort i'm, I'm looking for a luxury crossbody medium bag that i can wear to nice places because this is this is quite small it's good it's handy but there are times when i would like it to fit more like an umbrella for example or a small umbrella so yes again i will leave a link to the review of this bag but one of my favorites for autumn okay so the next favorites that i want to show you guys is this favorites autumn fashion favorites yes so the next autumn fashion favorites i want to show you guys is this ysl uh hobo la five or seven um bag in it's in i don't know how it's coming up on camera it looks a lot lighter but it is a very rich 
emerald dark green color this bag is beautiful now i actually have a video talking about my um black version of this bag and i bought this bag around april so i bought the black one around march and i bought this one around april this bag is stunning okay it will make your outfit look amazing i love this bag and i got it for a very 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 good price i think right now currently as of today it retails around 1700 i did not pay 1700 for this bag i paid considerably less um for me i don't do a lot of color again my wardrobe is quite neutral i wear blacks um beiges uh whites creams grays navies um and green green is the only color color um that i kind of really incorporate in my wardrobe in small accents so i wear accents of green i never really usually wear like something that is like very green but like dark green forest greens rich greens those kind of tones i like to incorporate into my wardrobe especially into my fall winter wardrobe but i find that this color works with almost every outfit that i have um i love the crop detail the crop detail is very suitable for this season um this has quickly become yeah an autumn winter favorites i find myself if i'm not reaching for my coach kira i'm reaching for this bag especially on days out when i'm going out when i'm going into london i'm seeing you know people i'm meeting up with friends this is the bag that i gravitate towards and this is the bag that i reach for even more than a black one i feel like the black one sometimes is too black because i'm already somebody who loves to wear black i love black clothing um sometimes i need something to kind of give my outfit a little bit more definition or a little bit more of a statement and i find that this bag um does that for me i bought this bag from i didn't buy this from farfetch i will leave a link to where i bought this bag it was a luxury luxury polish department store they have a uh, um a website i will leave the link down below if it's still there if not i will also leave the far, a farfetch link as well because i think you can get this on farfetch as well um just because it might not be in stock anymore in the other store i bought it but yes another another really good um investment i love the ysl hobble bags i'm obsessed i've heard mixed reviews some people love it some people hate it i know it's quite popular on instagram i know it's one that you know it's kind of hyped right now but i'm really into that whole 90s um classic simple girl aesthetic um i find that it works for me naturally i feel like that is my style anyway so i decided to go ahead and make that investment definitely someone i'm definitely not somebody who's into like you know what's trending on instagram i i kind of stick to my own um taste and my own style um and i look for pieces that complement my wardrobe and this is one of them so yes an autumn an autumn favorite okay so the last thing i want to show you guys i actually bought quite a while ago now and i've been wearing and i really love i actually bought um three white sneakers i'll probably show you the other two another time one is one is a Vasia, one is a Vasia v12s i think other one is like a reebok i can't remember the name but it's a reebok shoe and the other trainer i bought is the one i'm going to show you which is the super guards i want to call it what is it called it is called tumbled leather f glue f glue the f look glue trainer i will i will link it down below anyway i can't remember the name um just reading it off off the box i think it's called yf f glue that's what i've got um but it's this style and the reason why i want to show you guys these trainers is because supercars used to be a very popular brand at one at one point i remember like Meghan markle you know was seen wearing them a lot of other royal family members have, have worn them a lot of other celebrities have worn them but they've kind of like i don't want to say they've disappeared because they're still quite popular like i find them i find this particular model on lots of different websites but people don't rave about them i feel like because the trend is you know dad shoe ugly shoe big shoe um that's a popular trend that we've kind of lost a lot of the sleek non-booger non-loud trainers and when you're looking for something that looks smart casual 
when you're looking for something that you can wear that is relatively like like a discreet white shoe you know like doesn't doesn't scream trainer it doesn't it doesn't scream sneaker you know you just want something white and light on your feet i feel like this is where this is where the super good trainers really really shines because i've got large um i've got large wide wide feet i'm wide footed and trainers sometimes can make can look strange on me they can look i can look like a duck or i can look it can make my feet look bigger than they are and i'm i'm small i don't necessarily always want my feet to look like massive so i like these trainers because they make my foot look small and lean they're very very comfortable they're very easy to wear they don't really have much you don't have to wear them in like i feel like my vader trainers i really had to wear them in like i had to wear them in for them to be comfortable super guards are not like that I love that the material is real leather again not all sneakers um use real leather and i'm someone who's a fan of leather i'm someone who's a fan of natural material um these are also relatively inexpensive compared to trainers these days trainers can rack up to over 100 pounds 120 pounds you're looking at 130 pounds these were i think they originally i think they retail for 70 pounds and they they retail for £70, but I think I, I bought them for like £50, £50, which is really, which is a good price for like a name brand shoe. So these are my Supergars. I've had them for some time now. And I really, 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 really love this shoe. It's just very simple. It's what I need. Sometimes I just want a simple shoe. I don't want something that's going to scream, you know, and... It just came in really good condition it's really white it's not cream okay it's not off white it's a very brilliant bright white and i paid a good price for it i will leave a link to where i got it from but with super goes i think you can just search it in google and you can find many different retailers um with them i think office had them um, a couple of other sites but yeah i'll leave a link below to where you can find those shoes so i'm gonna wrap things up because i think that's it for the video but if you like what you see you know make sure you like this video make sure you comment make sure you subscribe okay make sure you join the family um if you're somebody who loves fashion you love lifestyle you love that type of content you will love it here so make sure you join you know make sure you subscribe i will tidy up the mess that i've made around me and i will see you guys in the next video let me know if you want to see a more in-depth review on some of the items that i brought to your attention today like the ysl croc or leave a comment down below or message me follow me on instagram i will see you guys in the next one take care guys bye